Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. Today, we continue our new fan baby. First things first, let's um, turn on, actually turn on the camera for the first time. Uh, actually, let's first of all take a look. Let's see. Two options of power. One is this uh, cable right here. It's got locks. Okay, and the other option is uh, this. Uh, the other option is still on this side. Is this uh, pin? Just a similar uh, pin um, to. To direct current like the Ursa 12k same thing that powers that can power this now which is cool now let's look at our screen all right and power is right here do you see the switch power is right here so let's flip it up okay so camera comes on for the first time. Um, actually, we can take this off. So if you, to get this up, you press on this part and pull. Okay. Now let's have the screen, the screen to ourselves, okay? Let's see the beauty. All right, this is the backlight where the tally light will also reflect here when this is covering. All right, so English, yes. Well, I know we can go to menu. Where do we set our date and time? Nothing to set. Hmm. So, so let's go through the menu walkthrough. Um, first of all, let's uh, look at what's on the external buttons. Okay, so we have um, on this button here, this is supposed to be um, probably Irish, so We'll figure that later. Um, program. This is the like uh, function one, function two, function three, function function keys that you want the uh, three function keys that you can assign some some your favorite moves into, and then program will make you when you push it. You're supposed to see um, whatever is going on in the show in the actual event. Uh, and then come back to your settings okay so custom beat rate black magic raw let's take a look at uh, ultra hd here we have full 6k so it by default it comes in the ultra hd format which is what they expect you to work with this camera but no no um, that's what it transmits two things that I love about this camera and I will confirm in this video is that the HDMI well the SDI now I'll probably test both of them should be able to get out the uh, Ultra HD 4K output so you could capture to an external device which is limited to 1080p in the other pocket cameras okay I know that the also it gives out uh, 4K as well. One of the ports for SDI gives out 1080p and then the main SDI gives out 4K. So uh, the pocket cinemas don't, but this guy here gives out 4K resolution, um, which is great, which is, which is, I mean, I can't complain for that. So we are going to test that as well. I've got the uh, focus assist here. We're going to test that 
if not in this video probably the next video because um, I don't want it to be long all right so let's proceed so it comes out of the HD where I'm going to take it to 6k because as we have that's my abode um, so we have the compression we have um, compression 3 to 1 5 to 1 8 to 1 12 to 1 just like it was in the 6k pro I believe because it's been a while I I let go my 6k pro so if I'm not missing up I know the Orsa is 18 to 1 up to 18 to 1 so I can't remember if that was up to 18 to 1 and there's probably an update there's probably an update that I need to get on so uh, we have up to 12 to 1 at uh, constant bitrate and then we have um, 6k 241 compression um, 241 um, framing we have 5.2 5.3k at 16 by 9 uh, by the 16 by the 6k of course it's 61 44 by 34 56 and um, it's all 16 by 9 okay let's go to constant quality same thing uh, q0 to q5 so i remember that's that was the standard then and still cool um, no anamorphic here that's something we're gonna miss um, anamorphic there isn't anamorphic here like it is in this pocket cameras but that's okay I also have the, I still have the Ursa I'm good with that Ursa again let's go to monitor we have the LCD we have the HDMI and SDI and clean feed pretty much the same thing um, audio right now ooh, it's getting my, my sound check one two okay audio is alive and we have the options of an uh, XRL phantom um, yeah just pretty much the same if there's any changes we're going to discover right now setup um, here we go today's date it looks like we are no it's not correct 2301 no that's not right so we, we correct the date now this is Monday 2.41 a.m. Trying to make a video at 2.41 a.m. when everybody else is sleeping. So, March is 03 and the date is 6. Okay. Time. We are at, um, uh, what do we do? Minute. The hour is 12, 13, 14. It's 14 since we want to go by uh, military time, so we'll say 1442. Okay, now we leave it at zero. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm going to update. Um, it's already for three, so update. Okay, all right, um, 1443. Um, I guess that's correct now. Let's go on to this is English shutter angle good shutter speed. Oh shutter angle. Um I think it was Jared on Don. He said when they when he switch to when he starts streaming it automatically switches to um shutter speed instead of shutter angle. Um yeah. So I just um, Put it on shutter angle right now by default it came in sh shutter speed so hopefully that bug or whatever that is is fixed if not it's still okay because it stays it keeps your shutter angle rule but it just you know it fixes it for you um but we'll see we'll come to that um so 60 hertz let's go um what else again What's fraction? We're gonna stay with stop. Okay. Instead of uh, percentage and number or fraction, of course English 60 hertz is what I. All right. Let's proceed to the next page. Atem camera ID. This is where the ATEM is gonna label your camera. Uh, uh, on this camera, remember I gave it one, so I'm gonna leave it at one. 
let's see if we can move it to two three and come down to you can go up to 99 which is almost impossible <laughs> unless you're doing some extraordinary no, movie but and this is not for movie but it, who knows <laughs> we might just pull it off all right let's go to the next page let's see did we finish that uh program program if we want to um external internal so pretty much uh, similar uh audio follow video switcher we'll leave it as it is for now until we actually get the until we actually get the switching devices to actually do the switching we'll come and learn more about this page all right so um here we are the function keys focus zoom yeah we want that we want that um yeah but one thing to notice uh, i'll talk about it in another video but the lenses for this camera i know a lot of people have been complaining for micro four third mount the lenses for the micro four third mount there are only about four lenses and they are, they are not that great okay now for the canon they are just about two lenses from canon um i think it's the 18 to 80 and then the 70 to 200 something like that um, they are cinema lenses and they're expensive so if you got if you don't know what you are up against as in any lens can go in here the ef lenses can go in here but um if you want to control the zoom and you want to use the uh demand so you must be ready to buy those lenses okay um sorry about that let's continue with the with the menu here let's proceed from setup more more page next page um oh this is the demands this is where you set up the demands okay dial and reverse zoom speed oh you can actually tweak it dial in the settings yeah that's good i think uh, when the demand comes when those comes we'll be, at least we'll be able to do the focus for now um so let's proceed and um we have the tidy light which is on okay let's turn it off all these are off now turn it on and they are back on okay um you want it low bright it's the low medium and then if you go high this is the brightest okay i can save your batteries but we're using direct power so there's no need um auto dim display maybe when you don't use it for a while but I'm going to leave that off now. Dim display after 10 minutes. It's when you keep this on, you can, let's go back. When you keep this on, you can choose how long you want that for. Pretty, pretty much straightforward. And this is your hardware code software 8.0. So I think we have an update. I, I don't know. I'll write it on the screen. Next is, um, stream you want to stream live live oh it says live how is that possible we are not connected streaming high data so nothing is really happening but we can turn that off it's still blinking live are you gonna stop okay we're back oh we have facebook option here wow so we have platform here Facebook, we can choose Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know about Twitter. Restream. Wow. Vimeo. This is good. Now, this is good. Wow. Boxcast. Boxcast. I don't even know all this one, but they already have options for them, man. This is really ready for anything. Caster. Africa TV, wow. Bill B. What? Did you guys know about this? Do you? <laughs> Weibo. Facebook, back to Facebook. Okay. Wow. But I've come to learn more about these streaming options because never used used one before for that purpose. 
streaming information so we are still on stream information display 3d lots um yeah we can get to the, to the low latency of and um, important settings import stream settings oh that's good so you could set um you could have previous settings in, imported and you don't have to dial that in every time so that's good ethernet or mobile so we could actually get my phone connected to it and and this thing will be connected to the internet ready for streaming um and that's something we'll test uh, in another video um but let's keep going uh so ethernet is most likely the most common form of um, you know, wi-fi for this device and power we're gonna find out that import set settings oh, let's go back so let's go let's go delete settings is also there so we we'll go to the next page there's a lot of pages on this setup uh protocol um these are new pages to to me these are new to me um static and um we have some we have gateway this is more like audio um primary dns secondary dns subject mask subnet mask and uh, ip address these are all streaming streaming related so we'll go on to the last page on setup reset camera good calibrate motion sensor yeah we want to do that and uh, calibrate image sensor pixel pixel recalibration um and then calibrate screen you know lcd white balance calibration so if you have any issues with the um look of the screen we know that we had issues with the 6k pro and they put this calibration uh to fix that but hopefully it's not here we'll check that out when we're actually running so um but you have a um, factory reset um motion sensor calibration pixel recalibration so this is a form of black shading you know so let's move on to so the next um okay so we are back to shadow go which is the beginning of setup let's go to presets so here yeah, you want to set up your presets and name them update what do we have import all right so you could do all that here um from your drive and lastly we have the lots and it comes with uh, the gem file film to extended video and then gem file film to rec 2020 hybrid log gamma gem file the next is gem file film to rec 2020 pq gamma and gem, and gem file film to video okay so these are options you can load your own lots as well uh, by going here import and all that um i don't think this is pretty much it we we'll get back to the main screen the main menu and of course if you want to see your um, frame guides check this out uh, frames per second you want to go same thing all speed if you want to go your slow motion let's see how what uh, slow motion looks like let's see how far can we go so 50 frames per second did they cut down our slow motion? Let's see. That's not good. Ooh. 50 frames per second. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Oh, it was 50. I think I've been spoiled by the answer. It was 50 in 6K, right? Oh, uh, man. That's nothing like the 120 in 8K. Oh, man. It's so sweet. 240 in 4k that's just um you know i won't trade that for nothing um we have the shutter angle let's get it at uh, 180 okay iris there's no camera in there um gain okay so um for streaming it's usually all about gain not iso 
So it's something we got to get used to. And so let's go and go back there. All right, so that's the screen. The only other thing that's left um, is to put a lens. program you should see if you have a program on let's see what the f1 is by default okay um, focus which is a uh, magnify same thing you get with tapping on the screen so f1 does that if you like it you can keep it there um, default to uh, what does this do um, nothing like visible three oh that's three is our nd filters so we have a, uh, what do we have now? ND, we don't have it, it on the screen. ND4, I guess. And this is the widest aperture. And ND6, but I still don't see it here. Hopefully there's another button that it will, so back to zero, clear. I know this is clear. Let's keep this at off. Slow motion, now the picture is brighter because uh, it was a slow motion. F1 is what? Focus zoom. Okay, that's what it is. We can change it to focus. We can change it to iris. We can change it to record. Yeah, I want to probably have to so let's leave it at focus zoom and then let's go to F2. Let's F2 the um, focus. We'll see about that. F2, focus, F3, ND toggle. Okay, so I uh, will leave F3 at uh, ND toggle. Zoom, focus zoom, number two focus. So let's see if. Uh, Pressing, so I still have to do it manually. Where's our focus? Uh, let's go to the menu, monitor. Uh, we haven't assigned this, so we want to get uh, we don't need clean feed. We need focus as oh, focus on and grid on. Yep. So let's go back and see what we have. Okay, so now we have uh, focus. So here it says no drive. If we plug in a drive, we can start recording. Unfortunately, there's no SD card, there's no CFAST card, just the USB Type C port for Blackmagic RAW. But for those of you who want ProRes, I'm going to test out in another video um, the Focus Assist and connect it to this uh, and see what we have. But I believe we will get 4K in ProRes RAW out of that um, monitor okay so let's um, let's see i think this is pretty much it so picking one day how high how intense you want your picking to be right now it's the lowest so i'm focusing on it now i'm looking with my eyes let's turn on the the picking level so all the way up Oh yeah, now we got it. So it really helps. I thought I was focused um, there, but when I turned it on, it really helps. Okay, so yep, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, join me in the next video. Okay, peace.